we went into the local uh, stores, for the most part, uh, the Five and Ten, Woolworth, Kresge's, uh, McClellan's. Uh, these stores were known all across the South and for the most part all across the country. Uh, we took our seats in a very orderly, peaceful fashion. Uh, the students were dressed like they were on the way to, to church uh, uh, or going to uh, a big uh, social affair. But they had their books and we stayed there at the lunch counter studying uh, preparing our homework because we were denied service. The manager ordered that the lunch counters be closed, that the restaurants be closed. And we just sit there and we continue to sit all day long. The first day, nothing in terms of violence or any disorder, nothing happened. This continued for a few more days and it continued day in and day out. And finally, on one Saturday, when we had about 100 students prepared to go down. It was a very beautiful day in Nashville, very beautiful day. We got a call from a local white minister who had been a real supporter of the movement. He said that if we go down on this particular day, uh, he understand that the police would uh, stand to the side and let uh, a group of white uh, hootlums and thugs come in and beat people up, and then we would be arrested and we should make a decision whether we wanted to go or not. And some people tried to discourage us from going on that particular Saturday. We made a decision uh, to go, and we all went to the same store. It was Woolworth in downtown Nashville, in the heart of the downtown area, and occupied every seat at the lunch counter, every seat in the restaurant, and it did happen. A, a group of young white men came in and they started pulling and, and beating uh, primarily the young women, putting lighted cigarettes uh, down their backs and their hair and really beating people. Uh, and in a short time, police officials came in and placed all of us uh, under arrest and not a single member of the white group uh, the people that were opposing our sitting down at the lunch counter uh, were arrested. Uh, we all left out of that store singing, we shall overcome. This was the first arrest in, in, in the Nashville city. It was the first mass arrest, I think, any place in the South. I believe it was February the 27th, 1960. And was that the first time you were arrested? It was the first time that I was arrested. And growing up in the rural South, it was not the thing to do not to go to jail. It, was a, it, was, it would bring a shame and disgrace on the family. Uh, but for me, I tell you, it was like being involved in a holy crusade. It was, became a badge of, of honor. Uh, 